in my Discord, I said I wanted to see y'all deepest, darkest secrets that y'all had to take to the grave. This is the first response I have. I'm not reading that. Some girl gave me head back in third grade. Aiden. Oh, so you wanted everybody to know this was you. Then it's you, Aiden. I like watching my cup. Oh, all right. Well, starting off early. Starting off early. Get your guitars out. I didn't think we was going to start off this early into the stream, but... Sweet home I kiss my dog French style. I was beating my meat addicted by 11. Jesus. I'm 14 and I'm a sugar baby. I get paid 1K weekly. I don't believe this, but if this is true, you are a victim. I mean, get your bag, sis. Get your bag. But I mean, <laughs> you're definitely a victim, bro. I helped my stepsister when she got stuck in the washing machine. Okay, gang. And I did crack. I had made a trans girl. Oh, God. Yo, what? I beat the hell out of my friend because he kicked a stray cat. We're no longer friends. Okay. When I was around seven or eight, I saw a movie with with French kissing in it. And at the same time, me and my... We getting our guitars out right now? Pre-Alabama? And at the time, me and my brother slept in the same room. And when I, when I, went, I went to sleep, I started... French kiss. Yep, yep. Alabama. Sweet home Alabama. Chat over here sing, singing this word for word, bar for bar. We've heard this like a million times already, bro. This is insane. To, to be honest, I have a lot, but one of them is I sometimes think of dead ass my family when they piss me off. And I'm the most in, in the most foul way, too. Once I shoplifted about $100 from a shop and they kicked me out forever. If my parents found out, I'd be in deep shit. No one knows. I don't shoplift, shoplift anymore. Hey, at least you learned your lesson, man. I once thought of having an with all the girls I liked or find attractive, best friends included. Hey, why not? I once thought about all my classmates. You're a school threat. I was R-worded by my younger female cut. I'm not playing Alabama for this, bro. I someone and it wasn't self-defense okay yeah and i do crack gang i think ben simmons zion williamson okay yeah you're just on crack gang when i was younger about two years ago i had gotten a i had gotten to a place so low in my life i thought that if i died people would be happy they would throw a party i've never told anyone this so that's why i'm putting it here hey on a real note hey for real if you ever feel like this you're not alone bro I felt like this before too. Everybody kind of goes through this kind of stage of life where you, you don't feel like people really care about you. People do care about you. If you if they don't, I care about you. Stay alive, gang. Depression sucks, bro. It's not something to be played with, bro. Saw a classmate's breast, never told anyone, and didn't get hard. Oh, you're gay then. Damn. Well, I don't know if I can say that. I don't know if I can say that. I don't know if I can say that. I mean, he's. he's straight twitch i said may yeah i secretly really want to die but i don't just because my existence probably makes other people's days worse and i want them to suffer not the craziest but i also think rainbow dash is hot that was the most backwards i've ever read what the f what you want to stay alive just to make people's days worse what's wrong with you gang what is your obsession with rainbow dash bro what is your obsession bro it is just a pony bro is literally just a pony i ate my cousin's goldfish while we were looking at there when i was four tough i watched two girls in one cup when i was seven i'm still traumatized i watched it when, when do y'all watch that i know everybody in this chat has watched that before who i watched that when i was 11 when i was a kid i used to try to suck my own <laughs> relatable the reason my mom ipad was missing was because i went on a site on it and a pop-up from the website wouldn't go away so i hit her i hit it in her room in plain sight for two or three years then threw it away smashed my stepsister in the shower okay gang good script once off to my sister's only fans and still don't regret it okay good script again i told my brother to put salt and pepper in his captain crunch when i was younger and my grandpa beat my i had a dream where i was clapping lebron cheeks after I started calling him my boo boo bear as a joke, I have four girlfriends at the same time. Okay, gang. I used to hit women and punch them. Now that I'm older, I regret that shit so bad. Bro, uh, huh? Put ages here, bro. Because this, when you say this, it sounds like you're doing this right now, bro. I'd happily f a girl that's packing heat. 
What you mean about that, gang? I've been watching since 10. I'm 14 and I've never been caught once. But that's not bad as what I used to do. Because when I was in the same room or bed as family, I used to jerk off. But that was when I was 10 and 12. Same bed? Ew. I haven't beat my meat or nutted in three months. So yeah, I'm proud of myself for moving on. Hey, at least you, at least improvements. At least, at least you, hey, at least you making improvements. I appreciate that. But nah, you're down horrendous, bro. I cheated on my girlfriend with someone who was 10 years older than me. I'm a victim, but I ain't telling anyone except stream and y'all don't know who I am. When I was five, I used to piss on my little brother's jacket in the closet because I was too lazy and goofy to go to the actual bathroom. I was a bad kid. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> nah, you're, you're weird. I pissed in my friend's bed and then blamed him. At, and at the sleepover, we all made fun of him. We were not. That's evil. That's evil. How you finna be at your friend's house and then blame him for you peeing in his bed? That's evil. That's evil. The amount of things that I've stolen is concerning. The number is just side note. I'm not a I'm not a full blown robber. I just steal pretty worthless stuff. What's the point of stealing shit, then, gang? Last year, my brother had a new girlfriend, which he is still currently dating. A few days after they got together, she she stays over at our house. I go to bed as normal, and she goes into the guest room. Then my brother goes in to help set her up for bed. Me bed is in the corner of my room, and one of the walls are the common walls with the guest bedroom. I heard everything. For one hour and 45 minutes, I tried to put my headphones on and listen to music, but they were really loud. I didn't get any sleep that night. I took a beyond my classroom because the bathrooms were locked, and it was already starting to dangle out in my pants. Yeah. So one day I was bored, so I decided to watch some One Cloud Nine. When I quote unquote forgot the oven was on because I was mad, my mom then the fire alarm went off and the house caught fire because I left and looked at my mom burnt. Okay, bro. I beat my meat to the ex to the ex news when I was down bad one time. Tough. Can't even say relatable to that because. That's not relatable. That's, that's only that's only a you problem, gang. That's tough. Making this anonymous is a mistake. We need to publicly shame some of these people. <laughs> oh God. Some of y'all need help, bro. Some of y'all need help. Some of y'all some of y'all should have put y'all usernames, bro. My stepsister and I were on vacation, and I accidentally walked in on her. Tits were out, and I got hard, and she was saw, and I was so I just shut the door. Horrible grammar, by the way, but I actually believe this one. I'm not gonna lie to you. We're, yeah, get the guitars out. I'll believe this one. Sweetheart.